how to sell crypto on Kraken Pro. In this quick guide, I'm going to show you how to sell crypto on Kraken Pro and then withdraw your funds to your bank account. I have put the timestamps in the description below, but I recommend watching until the end so you don't miss out on any important info. This tutorial will be performed on Kraken Pro, which is the more advanced interface with cheaper fees. But if you want to know how to sell on the non-pro Kraken, I also have a video explaining that, which I will put a link to in the description. In addition to this, if you're looking for a full tutorial on how to use the Kraken app or website, I have links to more in-depth videos in the description also. And if you haven't already signed up, I have an affiliate link in the description, which if you sign up using it, then I will get a kickback and it massively helps support this channel. It's also worth mentioning that Kraken are a great fiat currency on and off ramp exchange. So if you have crypto stored elsewhere, like a wallet and you want to cash it out, then you can send the crypto to Kraken, sell the crypto and then withdraw the fiat currency to your bank account. So anyway, let's get stuck in. So once you are on your Kraken Pro homepage, you want to press trade on the left menu. On this next screen, on the top left side of the screen, you can choose your trading pair. For example, I'm going to pick BTC GBP as I'm planning to sell BTC for Great British Pounds. Then below this, you want to make sure sell is selected. Then to the right of this, you want to pick your order type. And there are two main order types, a market and a limit order. A market order sells instantly at the best available price. A limit order lets you set the price you want to sell at. And if the market goes to your desired price, then your order will be executed. So if I start with a market order, I'll then key in how much BTC I want to sell or the equivalent in GBP, or alternatively, you can use the slider below this. So if I just drag that to the max, then below this, you can see an estimated trading fee. And once you're happy with this, you can press sell BTC slash GBP. And here you will get a chance to review your order before it processes. And if you're happy, you can press confirm, but I'm not going to do that as I want to show you a limit order quickly. So if I flip this order type over to limit, the difference is here that I now supply the price that I want to sell my Bitcoin at, which is my limit price. And it goes in this box here. So I can see that Bitcoin was recently trading at 68,000 pounds. So if I set my limit price to that, then I know I'll get more GBP back. So then I'll just leave this on 100% of my crypto. And then you can see the trading fee that is associated with this also. Once you're happy with this, again, you can press sell BTC slash GBP, and then you can confirm that. And if Bitcoin reaches my desired price, then my Bitcoin will be sold. As my order price is above the current price of Bitcoin, it will sit in this open orders tab until the price is reached. And you can modify this as you need here or just cancel it. I'm going to cancel this as I don't want to sell my Bitcoin, but obviously you would end up with your fiat currency on your Kraken account at this point. So anyway, once your crypto has been sold, if you go back to the home page, you can then see your fiat currency in your balances here. If I just click withdraw on the home page, then I'm going to pick my fiat currency that I want to withdraw here. On this next screen, you will see the withdrawal methods and these vary by where you are located in the world. It's also worth mentioning that the withdrawal fees vary by the method and currency that you pick. So this is worth bearing in mind if you have a multi-currency bank account. It's also worth saying that even though I've picked GBP, I do not live in the UK. And my understanding is that people in the UK have other options here, such as faster payments, and they are a lot cheaper to withdraw your money to. But for example, I can highlight this if I go to say euros, For example, here on euros, they have the option to do a withdrawal via SEPA for only one euro or SWIFT for five euros. Obviously, your bank account needs to be able to receive payments in the payment method that you choose and not all banks accept all payment methods and all currencies. So you will need to check this with your bank first. Anyway, if I flip back to GBP and I actually have a payment method I've already set up here, which is on SWIFT. But if you haven't already added a bank account, you would click in this two box here and then you can add a withdrawal method. Here you can pick your withdrawal method and fill in the details here. The name on the bank account must match that of the Kraken account. It's also worth mentioning if you haven't used the bank account to deposit onto Kraken, then you may have to make a deposit onto Kraken first using that account to prove you own it. This depends on which country you live in and the banking system there. Anyway, once these details are filled in, 
you will be able to select your withdrawal method on the withdrawal screen. You would then just enter the amount you want to withdraw and you can see any associated fees with that here. It's worth mentioning the fee that you see here doesn't cover any fees that your bank account may charge you. Once you're happy with this, you can press preview withdrawal where you can review this one last time and then finally withdraw your funds. Bank transfers can take anywhere from a few hours to a couple of business days, depending on your region and the method that you choose. So anyway, that is how to sell crypto on Kraken and withdraw to a bank account. If you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, then you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.